Mara Corey was born on the 7th of November in Warsaw, Congress Poland and Russian Empire. She was the youngest of five children born to a well-respected couple who worked as teachers in reputable institutions. At age 10, Mari was sent to a boarding school where she attended a gymnasium for girls and graduated years later with a gold medal. After completing high school, Mari and her three sisters couldn't further their education due to some financial difficulties that the family faced at that point in time. Women weren't allowed to enroll at local university and Mari's parents were not financially stable enough to send their daughters abroad. Mari and one of her sisters desperately desired to attend college, so they both decided to map out a plan in order to achieve their objective of going to the university. Some months later, Mari hatched a plan. She worked as a governess and supported her sister's studies in medical school. For years, she had to endure a very uncomfortable lifestyle until her sister completed her schooling. After graduating, Mari's sister got established and returned the favor. Mari packed her bag and headed to the University of Paris, where she was greatly inspired by a renowned French physicist who discovered that uranium emitted some unusual rays that no one had ever noticed. Intrigued by this, Mari began studying uranium and the mysterious rays it produced. While conducting this research, her normal studies were affected, making her lag behind her peers in school. However, curiosity couldn't let her abandon the research. Later on, Marie met and fell in love with an accomplished physicist whom she married shortly after. Her husband, who was well experienced in the field, left his personal project and joined her in the research. The couple examined some minerals that contained uranium and realized that the uranium contained minerals were about four times more radioactive than the pure and normal uranium. Eventually, their research led them to discover a completely different element, which they called polonium. Their new discovery was announced and published in July 1898. Five years later, Mary and her husband won the Nobel Prize in Physics, making her the very first woman to win a Nobel Prize. In 1906, Mary's husband died immediately after accepting a professorship at the University of Paris. This was a tragedy that struck unexpectedly. Devastated by her husband's death, Mary spent several months in mourning. However, she recovered and continued working on other projects. In 1911, she won another Nobel Prize for the remarkable work she did in chemistry. She was later given a professorship at the University of Paris, which made her the first female professor in the school. Today, history regards this woman as a game changer who had groundbreaking achievements in physics and chemistry. In a bid to achieve an objective, it's very important that you come up with a plan. Mapping out the plan helps you to stay on track, maintain focus, and finally succeed at what you intend to do. Hans Glein said, The sooner you start planning your life, the sooner you will live the life you dream of. Living an accomplished life of greatness definitely requires a plan. Long before you can have such a desired life, it's a wise decision to start making plans in ensuring a comfortable future for yourself. Brian Tracy said, A clear vision backed by a definite plan gives you a tremendous feeling of confidence and personal power. When you have a vision, you need to hatch a plan by which that vision would be achieved. Combining your vision with a brilliant plan will certainly build up confidence in you, making you believe that you are well enabled and powerful enough to attain a great height. Winston Churchill said, Let our advanced worrying become advanced thinking and planning. Instead of getting worried over a difficult situation that presents itself before you, think and devise a plan to save yourself from that trouble. Worrying solves nothing, so you should not resort to it. Rather, ponder on a possible plan to solve the problems that get you worried. When Mari and her family were confronted with financial difficulties which prevented her from attending college, she had to map out a plan that saved her future. Sitting down to plan can save your future. Don't sit and watch. Start planning today.